ladies let's talk about mastering femininity how to be more feminine how to get that feminine energy or how to embrace your femininity okay because i feel like this video could help a lot of you guys because it is a very frequently asked question and i'm going to help you guys with that now i know sometimes we want to be something that we're not but it's not something that we can't work on trust me i was not very feminine like two three years ago i was a lot in my masculine energy and it took me a while to get out of it and feel more feminine and embrace it even though long time ago i wanted to be more feminine but i just couldn't get there for some reason because there were a lot of things that was like you know obstacles but i figured it out and i'm gonna share those tips with you guys so that you will be able to master femininity so let's get into the video number one in order to feel feminine you have to look feminine okay now they say you are what you eat but i would like to say you are what you dress like okay you are what you look like and i really believe that when you dress up messy like messy bun your hair is just everywhere you're in a baggy t-shirt that is because your mood and your head is the same way but if you're well dressed you look put together that means you're actually put together or you're at least trying to be so when it comes to embracing your femininity or mastering being feminine you have to look feminine in the first place so that's why this is going to be the first point now when i say look feminine that means you can't always be wearing pants you can't always be wearing baggy t-shirts there are feminine clothes out there that make our curves just pop out it makes us look more beautiful it makes us look more feminine make us feel feminine trust me i used to never wear dresses I used to love my jeans and pants because they're comfortable, I can move around. But ever since I started wearing dresses, I have never felt more confident. I've never felt more feminine. And trust me, I've got a lot of eyes on me ever since I started wearing my hair beautifully, wearing earrings, getting my nails done very prettily, and just doing all of those things. So I would definitely recommend wearing dresses. I can understand that it could be very difficult if you're someone who used to be like me, who always wears pants and a hoodie it's okay to wear baggy t-shirts and a hoodie i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but if you want to master femininity being feminine you know you have to start wearing dresses get a red dress get a black dress you know get a few dresses keep it in your wardrobe and try wearing them time to time but if you're completely fine with changing your entire look i would definitely recommend getting skirts long skirts dresses in different colors vibrant colors that just pops out your features you need to figure out what color looks best on you and get those clothes like i have noticed orange makes me look really good beige makes me look really good yellow really makes my skin color pop out more so there are different colors that make me look good so i would definitely recommend you to like you know figure things out and dress according to your body type now every body type has different types of clothing not every dress will look good on you but it will look good on your best friend because she has a different body type so learn more about your body type learn more about how you need to apply your makeup and stuff like that and learn more about yourself dress according to that wear things according to that number two have your shit together a feminine woman lives a peaceful soft life she doesn't live a hassly or crazy tiring lifestyle if you want to master femininity, you need to have a soft life. That means being on time but not rushing there. So what do you have to do in order to be that person? You have to wake up early. So if you're going to work, you don't want to enter work looking like a crazy mess. You know that you need at least one hour to get ready. That means you get up two hours early, you do whatever you got to do, you get ready so that you're not in a rush. You are always put together. Your life is not a mess. Now, sometimes I understand it is out of our hands. It's out of our control whether our life is a mess or not. But there's always a way that we can handle things. You can be a mess, but you can still look put together. So what I would say is fake it till you make it. If your life is a mess, you don't have to show it. You could always cover it by at least like trying to put your shit together or looking like you have your shit together. So always try to keep your shit together don't be messy don't be having like especially a girl's car is the worst y'all just like it's, it's messy your room is messy a feminine woman a woman who has mastered her femininity her space is always clean you know her car is clean her nails are clean her hair is tidied up everything is in order 
because she is living a soft peaceful life her brain her mind is at peace she has all the time in the world to be herself and do the things that she love and she's very clean number three staying in shape now i am not fat phobic or something like that beauty comes in different shapes and sizes but you need to stay in shape that means you need to have an activity that keeps you healthy and going now this isn't fitness isn't about looking a certain way or looking skinny or having a thigh gap fitness is about being healthy taking care of your health now there are people who like curvy girls there are people who like skinny girls i prefer being thick you would prefer being skinny you prefer having thigh gaps, I prefer having big thighs. We all have our own preferences. And you can always work towards that goal. You don't have to necessarily be skinny or something like that, but if you're overweight, you need to work on it. If you're overly too skinny, you need to work on it. But what's most important is that if you're in between, you still need to stay active, be fit, go for a run. You need to be able to hike without gasping for air or fighting for your life. You need to be active. That means doing Pilates, doing yoga, going to the gym, lifting heavy weights, dancing, any kind of activity that keeps you moving, keeps you healthy and keeps you like keeps you in shape. Number four, minimal makeup. Now I know a few years ago, crazy wing liners, a lot of blush on your nose, a lot of contour, all of those things were great. But have you all ever noticed, like this is something I noticed, when women wear minimal makeup, they look the most prettiest. No crazy eyeshadow looks, no black lipstick. When they wear minimal makeup, they look the best. And trust me, you could have a minimal makeup look with a lot of makeup, okay? I'm not saying wear less makeup. I'm saying when you do a makeup look, try to make it look very simple as much as possible. There's nothing more attractive than a natural makeup. This is something I have noticed a lot, like when I go to school, when I go to uni or at workplace. When I see a woman who, I can see, I, as a woman I understand that she's wearing a lot of makeup, but her makeup looks so natural. It fits her features, her facial features, and it looks so beautiful on her. I'm like, wow. Like as a woman, I'm like, I'm no better than a man because I want to flirt with her even though I'm straight. So if you want to master femininity, you need to, you know, be in love with the features that you have. Or, you know, for example, I never liked my lips. So I got my lips done. And now I don't have to overline my lips and make it look crazy or look crazy when I go close to a person because before I got my lips done, I used to overline my lips. And if a person is too close to me, they can clearly see that my lines are so freaking overlined to make it look good and big. But I stopped doing that. I fixed the problem. I got my lip fillers done and I don't have to overline. It looks natural. It looks good. And I like it and it makes me feel confident. So try to keep things as minimal as possible. You want to get a nose job done? Get it done. But don't look like this. When you're trying to get surgery done or you're trying to get fillers done, anything you want to get done, any procedures, it's fine. You do what you gotta do, but don't go overboard. Don't go crazy with it. And the last one is being quiet, laid back, and at peace. Let me tell you something. As women, we should be at peace. We should be calm. We should be, we are sensitive. That's our nature. We as women have been designed to be soft, at peace, very quiet kind of vibe is what we're supposed to have, but because of the incompetence of men, we have started taking more masculine energy and we have started, you know, fighting, we have started cussing, we have started, you know, trying to scream to be heard and shit like that. But don't do that. Let's not do that because here's something that I know for a fact that you can be right, you can be heard, you can win an argument while still using minimum words and lowering your voice. You don't have to raise your voice to win an argument. You don't have to raise your voice to be heard. You don't have to do any of those crazy things just to get a point across. You can do all of that while being in your feminine energy, your feminine state. So always try to be very calm, very peaceful, and very laid back when it comes to situations. Life will hit you with a lot of crazy situations. Like your ex cheated on you, you wanna bash his car, you wanna slash his tires, you wanna like just pull his hair, you wanna beat the shit out of him. Don't do that. Why are you wasting your energy? You are damaging your feminine energy when you do that. If someone cheats on you, if someone does something bad to you, you could just leave a message like, you hurt me, 
fine, so be it. If I like, if something like that happened to me, I would not do anything crazy. I would just be like, okay, what happened happened. That's it. You are not getting a reaction out of me. You are not going to see me act out of character. You are not going to hear me screaming, crying, or chasing you or cussing you out. You cheat on me. Cool. Okay, that's it. No reaction. No freaking reaction. Laid back, simple, at peace. Because I'm not going to allow anyone to destroy my peace, my happiness, for their incompetence. They do something, why am I stressing out? Why am I acting out of character? Why am I wasting my energy? It's not fair. Why is it that someone else's mistake, I'm the one suffering? Absolutely not. I love myself way too much and that's how you guys need to be. If a situation happens, if an obstacle comes into your life where you are expected to react, where you need to react, you feel like reacting, just don't do it. Don't waste your time or energy on such things. Women, as women, we need to be laid back. We need to like, you know, whatever happens, happens. I don't care because you know your worth. And you know, like you love yourself too much to allow such things to hurt you. That's just how it is. So yeah, anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below what other videos you guys would love to watch and I would love to make them for you guys. And yeah, that is it for this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Okay, what was that? Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>